Good afternoon. My name is Disciple Neil Leslie Gilbert Williams Jackson Ebu. And uh, this is my second post of the afternoon within the same uh, 30 minutes or so. And uh, my next uh, topic of issue of, uh, uh, of talk is uh, physical conditions. Uh, I think, uh, well, I suppose it could be under the same banner as a mental health condition. So I'll make it as one. The condition that I'm referring to is retard. Uh, I think it's a diagnosis. It's uh, some. It, 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 I, I, in brief, it uh, it defines as uh, a person who uh, doesn't or cannot progress uh, or learn or something like that, uh, or spastic. I think that's the, the a diagnosis, um, which uh, is a person who is unable to progress uh, through having knowledge and so on. So even though they may be aware of something or know something, they're unable to, uh, I suppose, be civil and progress with their behavior and their mental state uh, due to their diagnosis. And I don't know if it's uh, a retard or mental health uh, spastic um, is a condition that can be recovered from. Um, I don't know. I, I've not researched it. Maybe I will. However, um, I, I was wondering, you know, how do you treat, how would one treat these people would someone shout, are you spastic or you retard or something like this in uh, society? Uh, would uh, someone go on uh, social media or even um, the uh, me the uh, professional media, um, the television or a cinema, film or something, and discriminate and uh, coercively control uh, a, a person or something? Uh, I heard a stage whisper earlier. I was listening to, I think it was S Club 7. And uh, I think one of their, their band members had a stage risk or something. like I thought he was a retard or something like that. Now, um, of course, the reason for her, or I think it was the female one, sharing her stage whisper, and it's a computer. I'm, I, I don't think it's a real, it's not a real mic, I, I'm sure. But, you know, the way this works, I don't know what, what it is, the cause of control, how it works, and the automated scanner or whatever it's called. But um, I, I, I wonder, um, you know, why it, it, it's announced. You know, uh, people often commonly state, um, I thought he or she was. I thought, I thought, I thought. Now, um, I, I, it's like saying, well, it was a joke. You know, I, I would think, well, you know, that's all right then. Or is it? Is it all right? Is it all right to joke? Is it all right to share your thought? I mean, you know, if you have an opinion, um, w wouldn't it be more polite or practical uh, to invite someone to hear your opinion. For example, um, would you like to hear my opinion about? And so on. So effectively, you know, I, I would, uh, you know, like people to comment on this too, um, because um, I, I feel uh, with a current storyline on Coronation Street, where a young uh, boy um, is being bullied uh, in, 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 at his uh, high school, I think it's high school, um, it could be a junior school, I'm not sure. I think it's high school. And uh, he uh, wants to kill himself or uh, researched uh, how to kill himself. And uh, I've uh, had a, a text message from a pictured uh, young looking male. I think it's a, a former school friend who's, uh, you know, having um, some kind of uh, wind up thing or saying you know it is me you know can't don't even recognize me because the picture looks exactly like him his initials is pc uh who uh married and um had offspring with uh someone i used to date sort of thing but anyway um <laughs> i um i uh i uh sort of um w would like to uh, invite people to discuss disclose and comment video or text please um, about how a physical conditioned or mental health conditioned person should be treated. So an example could be, should they be exposed for being with schizophrenia or something like this? Or should they uh, have a, a, a label added, for example, uh, to be called paranoid and schizophren schizophrenic? Uh, an example would be uh, the paranoia uh, being one state of a condition of schizophrenia 
So effectively, uh, or it's not necessarily schizophrenia that it's linked to, but uh, they say, uh, I've heard uh, newscasters, broadcasters say, oh, this person was paranoid, schizophrenic, has had a history of mental health problems and so on and so forth. Now, you know, I, I wonder in the reality how this person has been treated or these people have been treated and I could be one of them. Uh, so effectively, um, you know, we, we're talking about, you know, people who are uh, subjected to coercive control uh, by people, uh, strangers, neighbours, citizens of all kinds, um, like uh, much like a specific uh, people currently in the news uh, being violently uh, targeted. And uh, I, I do wonder, um, you know, wh how people, uh, you know, become the way they do because we aren't born like it. So effectively, if we can please... Uh, this is to the people that hear this message. Please comment, give your opinion about how physical condition or mental health condition people should be treated. Have you witnessed someone being ill-treated? Um, should it be? Is it right that they are uh, announced as being mentally unwell? I mean, do, do you think perhaps that they they would have um, a, a worsened condition if? Uh, they saw their pictures uh, in the newspapers and on the television or stage whispered or whatever else it may be, especially if uh, their carer uh, is saying, well, you know, they're hearing voices, you know, it's not real. And that's probably the, 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 the trick, isn't it? Um, you know, you, you've got um, someone that's saying, well, this person, um, and of course, if I was saying that a person is hearing voices or implants, and I wasn't there. How on earth, how in goodness name would I know that they weren't actually or were, well, well that they were not actually hearing uh, the real sound of someone's remarks and comments? Uh, effectively, you know, I, I think this is uh, uh, equivalent to worse than a pandemic. People in denial, coercively controlling and uh, you know wanting people to fall ill or to challenge them to have a coercive controlled reaction you know a, an emotion or a rally or something you know and of course you know when they are challenged oh i didn't say anything is what they would do or say or, or respond you know it's as if it didn't happen it's ignored they're ignorant so effectively, ignoramuses um, are, of course, the causes. And, you know, uh, the, the meaning of ignoramus is someone that is, uh, ignores, um, a person that ignores uh, something or someone. So effectively, if I was to, be, if I was to challenge someone about uh, them uh, doing something to me or saying something to me uh, physically or uh, verbally, uh, then, of course, I would say, well, this is in t retaliation. Um, and of course, what they will say is that I didn't say anything, or I was only joking, or whatever it is, or just trying to generate emotion, as if that's all right then. But it isn't, is it? It isn't all right. So, um, as I'll say, I would like to generate more discussion, more intelligent discussion on my on uh, remarks on my posts. Please say a bit more than I like the video, or something. You know, perhaps ex uh, 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 to uh, do some some sentence or paragraph about uh, something specific uh, re relating to this particular post, physical conditions or and mental health conditions such as retardness or spastic or schizophrenia or mental health, not necessarily in that order or that they're in the same league or category. Even if you have a condition, I would welcome that too. My posts are copywritten, so whatever you say will be protected by me, the management of my companies. I do thank you very, very much and wish you all well. Goodbye.